good afternoon guys we're going to go ahead and start picking all the garden the garden is full of peas and beans that we need to pick so we're going to go ahead and start that and we're going to bring you along for the journey after that we're going to go and uh, disc up our pumpkin patch we, we're going to do a big pumpkin patch this year on the other side of our lake uh, hopefully for people to pick their own pumpkins and just have some picnic time but really more for that just us we love fall time and as we get to that season we always like to plant them uh, it's starting around July 4th, so we're going to go ahead and get that, that area tilled up and kind of rode up and get it ready to go uh, for that season. So we're going to go ahead and pick what we can. I think we got zucchini and squash, but also really the main things are peas and beans. So uh, we're going to go ahead and get that done today. Some of our butter beans are ready. We're going to go and pick up some of them. Uh, but most of those still like a little bit. Really, it's our peas that's coming due, and some of our pole beans. But uh, we were going to check some of our beans, uh, our butter beans, just to make sure they were okay. Like there's a few that's that's ready. So we're going to go and pull those uh, and make sure we have those coming in harvest uh, probably the next week or so. All right, we have just picked all that side of the garden, which is all the main peas and beans. And we had a few more butter beans than I thought. But uh, so we got those picked. I'm gonna show you our tomatoes how beautiful they are. Now they're not coming in yet, but look how many we have. I mean, they're everywhere. These are a lot of our bigger ones, our big sandwich tomatoes here. Uh, some of these are tigerella. Some of these are Cherokee purples. Uh, some of these are. We do have a, of course, a lot of red tomatoes as well. But a lot of these are gonna be our colored tomatoes. They're absolutely gorgeous, growing off perfect. Uh, doesn't look like any issues with our plants so far. They just hadn't become green, I mean red yet, and yellow, and ready to pick. So, uh, but they're looking good. We've got one that's got a little worm issue. I'm gonna go ahead and pull it and get it out of here. Throw it out. But, um, but look at all that, look how beautiful those are, the clusters. I love tomatoes. That's probably my favorite thing to eat that and cucumbers together but look how beautiful these are so we've got these they're all coming in real well just not ready to pick quite yet we have three rows of them um, you can see this is our newest one we try to plant in a progression so these are our smallest ones um, of course they're the smaller tomatoes but also um, the cluster a little bit more but also they're a little bit behind all the rest of them and we did that on purpose so that way they all won't come in all together but a lot of these are our cherry tomatoes, our sun gold, which tend to be a little bit smaller. Look how gorgeous those clusters are. So I think we counted probably around, you know, a few hundred tomatoes just on these few rows. That's not counting the greenhouse, but look, look at all those right there. How gorgeous they are. Beautiful. All right, so we got that. Let's go look at what we harvested today. We got a few zucchini, about six or seven zucchini, which is again, we've been getting about six or seven a day, which has been wonderful, but we've been eating as we go. A few okra, we've been getting about 20 to 30 okra a day. Um, this is our harvest, one basket that we harvested today. This is basically um, our butter beans and our peas and a few zucchini and okra in there. We also have one more basket that I harvested that I've already dumped uh, just because I couldn't fit it all in this one basket. So, uh, garden's going great. Everything's coming in well. Uh, our corn, like I told y'all before on one of the videos, it really didn't do as well as we hoped. Uh, we are going to probably still get about 30 or 40 ears, but uh, for our family, we, we normally would need 75 to 100. So we're hoping to, we may have to do a little barter and trading with other farmers in this area uh, because our tomatoes are looking great. But our cucumbers and, and corn just didn't do as well this year as we hoped. 
Oh, look how beautiful our sunflowers are. This is my favorite time of day to come to the garden. It's when it's almost dusk. It's about 6.30 or so. Look how gorgeous those are. Absolutely beautiful. So they're looking great. We've been cutting those and selling those at the market and also uh, basically having uh, some on our table and there's nothing better than walking in and seeing Misty having fresh cut flowers on our table. It's just beautiful, beautiful. So uh, last thing we're going to do today is we're going to go ahead and till up the spot for the, the pumpkins and get it back ready. So that way we'll be set to uh, plant those probably next week or the next. As long as they're planted by July 4th, we should be good to go. So uh, we're going to show you that right quick and uh, it's on a different part and we'll take you on that journey. All right, as you can see, this is just an open pasture. Um, this is where we will actually plant our pumpkin patch. Uh, so we're going to go and get started. It is a little, get, it's getting a little late, but we're going to still try to beat the, the sunset and, and get this pasture uh, disc up. And this is actually where we'll plant a big pumpkin patch. We'll probably use some bisqueen put over it or, or basically silage tarps to help keep the grass down. But it's got great fertile soil underneath this grass. That's why it's grown so well. So we'll go and get started on this right now.
All right, so there you have it, the first round of bisking. As you see, there's still some grass. Now, a lot of that's uprooted. It's just laying on top. So we'll let it kind of die off, and then we're going to disk it probably three more times. And that way, we know it's got a good, good fertile base to it. Beautiful, beautiful topsoil. Look how, look how beautiful this topsoil is. Very loose and just, just powdery. Beautiful. So it's going to do really good. We actually thought about doing a pumpkin patch here in the fall or basically late summer fall and then doing maybe like a strawberry patch here in the, the early spring and, and, and the early summer. So we're excited about the possibilities on this part of the land. This is kind of far from our house. Uh, I mean, it's just through the woods, but it's the very, very far end of our property. So it's a, the, the opposite 40 acre part that, uh, that we're actually on with our house. But it's close to the lake, as y'all see. And just a beautiful little area through here. Um, it really is, but but again, uh, we're excited about this. So, I uh, just wanted y'all to see this, and again, as this progress goes on, you'll see it in other videos. Uh, again, thank y'all for watching. Uh, if y'all ever have any questions about what we do or comments, please leave them below, and we'd love to answer them. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to us, please do. We'd love to have you. Uh, watch our videos, and, and, and uh, basically get to know us as we get to know you. But we hope you have a wonderful evening. And again, we did beat the, the sun, so it worked out really good. But we'll go over this again probably tomorrow and then the next day. And then we'll probably put a piece of uh, um, tarp or, or basically like a silage tarp down. And we'll probably let the pumpkins grow through it this year. But again, I hope you have a wonderful evening. Happy homesteading, y'all.